All right, I'm using one of those uh, plastic or whatever material it is uh, cutting boards. And it's really thin. I mean, here's a piece I cut off. You can see how thin it is. It's barely a, well, it's really small, <laughs> really thin. I screwed it down with two screws on each corner just to keep it in place. But there's really no way to do it properly. Anyway, I'm going to take my roller. And uh, what I'm trying to do, let me show you what I'm doing. I'm trying to make this design here. And it's a dragon with all kinds of little curly cues. And the reason I didn't do this on uh, uh, wax paper or parchment is because all this stuff would fall apart. So I'm going to do this on a flat piece of uh, clay that I've run through my pasta machine. And I don't care that it's got weird things in it. Quite honestly, that adds to the character of it. I'm going to uh, roll this out a little only because I want to give it some uh, flatness. All right, now I'm going to set it up here. Actually, I need to cut this down a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. part that I'm cutting away, I'll set aside and use it uh, for some of the thinner stuff. Yeah. Now I need to go down. And it looks like I need to come back up. This ain't easy. I've never done this before, so this is the first time for me. I set this clay down here. I'm going to put the uh, neck up there. And this has got to come down and around there. And I need to go under there. I have no idea if this is going to work out or not. Now this looks like a leg coming here. And uh, a claw is wrapped around that there. And coming out from underneath. Like there. Did I mention I'm doing this for the first time? <laughs> okay. back on itself.
got a better view of it than I got. I'm looking from the bottom up. You're looking straight down at it. Which is the best view. I'm going to take a, this flat piece and I'm going to carve out the head out of this. I mean, these guys were just amazing artists in their own right. Well, I'm not impressing myself right now. <laughs> There's a guy that had a studio near my old studio. And he used to do carvings like this all the time out of wood. And it just fascinated me how he did that. Gotta angle it so I can see what the hell I'm doing.
Looking good. Gotta thin that out just a little bit. Not looking too bad. Let's see what it looks like on the not too bad. I just might do the rest of it on uh, the base. I guess it'll just make it a little easier for me to see what I'm doing in comparison to uh, the shadows and all that stuff. Can't see that working on a flat surface. But I'm not totally unhappy with it. It just not perfect, but uh, hopefully by the time I'm done with it, it'll be near perfect. Now it looks like it's got some kind of appendage that comes off the, the back of the head. And uh, looks like it comes right off the head there and then it takes a loop right there comes around all right I'm gonna cut it off right there uh, comes up and around This is where it's going to get hard because I don't have enough room from under there. Come down underneath there. And it comes out from under there. And goes out and around. I'll work on that some more. We'll see where we can get with it. I think that looks pretty good. That doesn't look too bad. The base. It's probably hard to see from 
this far back, but uh, to me it looks like a good design. I just need to do a simpler one on the sides. I'll probably do more like uh, this design here. Let's see if I can get that up here where you can see it. More like this design here on the back, on the sides, and then one like uh, that one on the back. Because I certainly don't want to do that again. But it looks pretty good. But I think that looks pretty good. It kind of gives it a feel of Nordic, uh, a Nordic feel to it. All right, this is the first uh, of uh, January and uh, first of 2018, and uh, <sighs> hope to get this finished this week. Push him back just a little bit more. Yeah. Alright. Well, that's going to be it for today. And I'll catch you guys uh, next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs. Uh, the link down below this video. Alright. See you next time.